Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Burglar and we are here in the Great Delving looking for a goblin tribe and a voice. Okay, I might be listening for a voice. Ah, here we go. You have discovered the goblin encampment. A deep, gruff voice barks sharp orders. There you go. And we're supposed to speak with the dwarf down here. Now, usually when I am around here, I have actually missed that particular one because I missed the axe, so therefore I wasn't sent to the particular location in order to listen to them. Now, I did before they did the revamp, since you got to the voice in a different way. But because of the axe location, all this, I always missed that. So, I wound up getting here through a different means because you could still take his quests even without being, because that's just a vector quest anyway for this guy. Hello? The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazatum. By Deeran's beard, someone has come to help me. I was cut off from the rest of the group venturing forward through the area, and I found myself here. Yeah. So now we got three quests. We have seen naught of Durin's Bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. I have been seeing a great deal of movement among the goblin messengers in the camp. I do not like Shnaga Mothel's nearness to Durin's threshold, nor the road to Dovin View. They are watching all of our movements and running communications hither and thither. I fear that many dwarves using the roads will lose their lives to this unhindered flow of malicious informers. I think I would have preferred malicious messengers just to make it alliterate. I am sure you wish to hasten eastwards, especially if you're going to comment about my talk. If you would do me a favor and pass through there. Okay, so I need to kill four messengers. Yeah. Abide here a moment and speak with me. And kill the rest of the Snaga while you're at it. So I need to kill Moria's soldiers in there. Alright. And? We have seen naught of Durin's Bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. It seems that anyone there who encounters the goblins and manages to escape finds their coin purses much lighter than they were previously. Yeah, so therefore you need to reclaim stolen coins. Okay, I suppose we could do that. Send a burglar to steal coins from goblins. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes a whole great deal of sense. Shh. I know burglar burgle doesn't get them back. Anyway, I failed to burgle anything. Now, let's see. Adult. I guess. I might have commented that before, that's right. Adel is probably one of those... Oops. Remember, I'm not yellow line anymore. I am 104 though, okay. Next! Be bowie bowie quiet. I'm hunting goblinses. <laughs> the voice says you must die! Yeah, 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 yes, the voice says I must die. Now, unfortunately, I can't for the life of me remember. How do you... Stop somebody in this line? Probably not. That's probably one of the disadvantages to this line. Hmm. Adel, I guess, must be one of those... Yellow line things. I don't want to check the other lines at the moment, because if you do that... It takes you forever in order to switch back due to the cooldown so yeah well then while we're here pick a pocket and oh got some distilled atlas essence I guess my task then is just to kill him before he can do anything to me Like that. Good. Now, let's see, we've got two soldiers, a messenger, 
And no stolen coins yet. They gotta be. Where are all the stolen coins? Well, I mean, other than the ones I've pocketed already, of course. But I need some for the dwarves, too, right? The voice says, Helpful, come! The voice says, You're gonna die! <laughs> yeah. The voice says you're gonna die. Ooh, another messenger. And I've got a message for you. Die! Well, I, I do have Riddle, but Riddle has a very long cooldown in this line. So, therefore, that's not a good, reliable way in which to be able to Okay, so that's the purge corruptions. I need to remember that now that I am more, yeah? Alright, here we go. Let me just make sure that I didn't. But I have a feeling that... Yeah. I'm pretty sure then that at all then does not exist in this line. It's probably so a yellow line thing, which is... Probably one of the reasons why I like yellow line. I'm sure there are reasons why I prefer that line, and that must be one of them. But since the exercise here is for me to learn another line, and one of the things I'm, of course, constantly worried about. is how to keep them from constantly stunning me. So I'd like to, because they have all those induction skills. And induction skills are very, very, are usually very, very annoying to have to deal with them. Mm. Especially when you have to deal with multiple goblins at once. go there you go there you go and there you go no speaking of multiples at once let's not worry about that let's take care of this one you we well we quiet oh nada for that you die I know that he's gonna die anyway that's just a minor detail. There you go. The rest of the goblin tribe will hear of your insolence. Insur incursion, yes. Yep. The rest of the goblin tribe will hear of your death. One of the goblins did have a page from the Book of Knives. I suppose that's something good to find. Hey, I wasn't expecting you to come along. Well, the you're just in the way, messenger. You know that. You know you're in the way. And that, that's the problem with this line. There is absolutely no way I know of to prevent it from stunning me. Okay, there is Riddle, but that's a one-minute cooldown in this line, so therefore that's not particularly... Consistently used. It's not consistently useful for that particular trick, then. Uh, actually, remove Corruption. There you go. We've got that, at least. At least that's there. Alright, there's nine. And then finally. At this rate, you can see that the way I'm talking about this line and complaining about it, how long I'm not going to last. <laughs> I said, I want the trick to see how long do I last in blue line before I switch back to yellow. Everyone has their favorite line. And I know there are a lot of people that don't like yellow line. But 
let's see. We still need uh, one more soldier. As so I'm gonna have to go. No, okay. That's the. Oh, back in here. Find Snaga Musul. No, 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 not that one. Ah. Because doing it to the messengers is no good because I want a soldier. And soldiers seem to be the ones who have the coins, more likely. There you go, we have all the coins. No, you didn't have all the coins. That was just a... Uh, You win the last one! Coin, 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 coin! Of course, it's possible that both types of goblins have it, it's just... And I've been less lucky with the messengers. Oh boy, it gets stun, stun time. See, at least with the, with the lore master, I can remember the anti-stun. The first time I get stunned, I usually remember, oh yeah, that's right, I have an anti-stun, but unfortunately, the burglar doesn't have that particular luxury. Okay, well at least in this line, I can walk faster. Because in yellow line, stealth movement is painfully slow. Alright, let's see. Minus 10% run speed. I think it's something like minus 50% or something ridiculous like that in yellow line. So therefore that is one advantage to this line. Hello there. These halls will be great once more. Did you fight just fight your way through Snagamuthu? That's incredible! I am here to offer assistance on the road to those who may be waylaid by goblins. Alright. Oh well, that's good to hear. I'll reduce that need. May Durin return soon to his halls. Messenger's pursuit. Plus 33 might, plus 20 vitality, plus all these wonderful things, but absolutely nothing for your... I guess I'll be decent for Bjorning. And something useless there. Alright, looks so like... I'll take the boots. These halls will be great once more. What, what, what was that? Reputation already? Known to the Iron Garrison Guards. Well, look here. I always suspected those gobbles were thieves and worse. Yep. Good. And what else do you need? Here a moment and speak with me. If you wish to go further in Moria, you will need to follow the road towards Dove and View. Perhaps you'll encounter more dwarves. Right. Okay, so that takes care of... I think that's upstairs you've got to go. Follow the road further into Moria. Despite the fact that it's going in the opposite way of the arrow, practically. But it turns around. At least now we've got the posts coming in here. Once you get down to here, it's a lot easier. The quests make it a little bit easier to find your way through here than before, but... I still... Not keen on going this way back and forth whenever I'm going through here. I just rent a goat and do it that way. Okay, there we go. And this isn't all that far, as you can see. Now, where were we? Ah, here we go. We have arrived. Hello there. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casa Doom. Behold, Lama Doom. Beautiful, isn't it? If you have time, we could use your assistance. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Well, not too bad. It could use a bit of cleaning, but I suppose that's true for much of Moria. Hey, what do you need? Stand and speak with me. The fate of Casa Doom hangs in the balance. According to my map, the Vault of Durin is directly south of here. The problem is that my party refuses to explore it. They wish to head straight to the Dolven View and not veer off the path. I would clearly, dearly would like you to see what lies in the Vault. Alright, fine. Let's go to there. 
His quests are in the opposite direction, so I'm not going to worry about those at the moment. And not worry about those big... Yes! Yeah, those cave diggers or deep claws. Deep claws, yes. Deep claws, slightly bigger versions. <laughs> well, maybe more than slightly bigger versions of cave claws. And speaking of this, how do their beaks look compared to those of cave claws? It looks like the head doesn't grow much into the larger species, but just the rest of the body bulks up quite considerably. Maybe wondering, is that the mature form and the cave claws are a juvenile form? Or is it different species on how they grow? There's nothing here but dust and the trembling of the earth. Oh, fun. There you go, more remains. Yeah. Hey, how about this? Yeah. And finally this. And I would presume I'm not allowed into the deep way yet. Uh, of course not. Well, I'll certainly eventually be able to get into there. Hmm. Hey, any treasure nearby? Yoo-hoo, treasure! That's another thing I keep on forgetting to use as a burglar. You'll think that as a burglar, especially one who doesn't have any crafting, that I will turn on treasure seeking. Yes! Okay, nothing... Oh, yeah. That's a nice little geode over there. I know not much in this area to see, so... Might as well take care of this little... Nice little geode there. And, of course, we've got our little... Map of Arda on this side or something like that. At least that's what I think that is. Of course, it's got letters all over, so it's hard to tell what's going on. You're saying, okay, what is letters? What's mountains? And what's what? Like these blue lines, they, they look like they could be rivers. I suppose if you take a close look at it, you could figure out what's what. For example, is this the Great River? Yeah, it doesn't... Because then you say, okay, what's Mordor? Then it's... Obviously, it's... a bit on the abstract set. So th and I'm guessing that, okay, Valinor's not on here. Whether it's not on there because they're saying it's no longer on the map because you can't reach it on the round earth, or is it not there because from the point of view of dwarves, it's terra incognita, and that's pretty much as much in the literal sense of that as you could possibly think of because it's definitely unknown. From a dwarf's point of view, at the very least. And now, let us get back in there because we've had our little side trip. What I should do is that when I see if I've got one of those in my vault, I probably have a character that has it in their vault. I maybe take a closer examination at a safer location. Now, let's turn this in. Hello there. May Doreen return soon to his halls. Hmm. That is sad news, Petronella. Nothing but dirt that dirt and shaking. I imagine it's only the first of many such disappointments as we go through Moria. Perhaps it will never be restored fully, but I would like to think that this expedition can forge a new mine. Different, but good. Well... Certainly better than it is currently, and next time we'll go in the other direction as we handle Thor Hall's quest in the next episode of Piney Plays The Burglar.